What's up, Ravens? Welcome to this Friday's edition of ONW Now. I'm Sean McFarlane alongside Savannah Plumley. Today, we'll cover ONW's parenting class, the spring show, game day, and our question of the week debate. Let's get started. Students at ONW can take a childhood development class to help prepare them for becoming a parent. Tiaja Holton and Anna Massey visited the class and have the story. Over the hills and far away, Mama Ducks went quack, quack, quack. Students in the childhood development class found themselves on the other side of the desk when they hosted a toddler daycare. To create the lesson plan, it took like one whole class period, so like 50 minutes. It used like a whole block day, and that went into like making our craft, organizing a snack, picking out like the book we're going to read to the kids, and like figuring out a game we would play with the students too. The opportunity to work together was a unique one for the teachers and toddlers. Learn how to like use our parenting skills and interact with the kids and make sure they have like fun. Can you say hi, mom? Hi. <laughs> Did you like today? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Um, the pink. For Anna Massey, this has been Tiaja Holt. Now back to the desk. Tonight, the Lady Ravens dance team is putting on their annual spring show. Samantha McHugh and Rachel Brookhart have a preview of the event. The Raven dance team has been working for hours each week to prepare for this year's spring show. Senior Paige Tolley has had a passion for dancing since she was three. She's excited for her last performance with her Raven dance team family. Dance has impacted my life because it has made me the person I am today. I have made my best friends on dance team and the girls on that team and boys have become like family. Not many see the hard work that our Raven dancers do to prepare their routines. This year's team has been practicing together since last May. We have 7 a.m. practices four times a week all through the school year. And this past week for spring show, we've been having rehearsals from 4 to 10 every day after school. This year's theme for spring show is world renowned, and there will be a variety of routines that showcase the dancers' talents. Um, you can ex expect to see all types of routines, including jazz, hip hop, palm, contemporary, and there'll also be solos, duets, trios, and groups. Spring show is the last dance the seniors will have on the Raven dance team. It's a time to remember all the memories and make new ones. I'm most excited to get one last time to dance with all the seniors and just to share the stage with all my best friends. Come out and support the Raven dance team. The spring show is Friday, May 1st at 7.30 in the auditorium. For Rachel Burkhart, this has been Samantha McHugh. Now back to the desk. Make sure you come out to support the dance team tonight. Now let's take it to game day Northwest. <laughs> Welcome to this Friday's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm your host, Luis Ruiz. Today we have an interview with a varsity soccer player and some of the spring's top plays. This spring, all the teams have had their share of highlight plays. Our own Brendan Wolford has to pick the top five. Hey Ravens, welcome to the top five plays of the week. Your number five comes from the O.W. baseball team. A Rockers player hits a grounder to Evan Reed and he guns it over to second where Sam Harding finishes off the 5-4-3 double play. Your number four is from the Lady Ravens soccer team. Taylor Weens had an excellent corner kick to Jaden Chase, who had a beautiful rainbow header to score the goal. With the Northwest won 3-1. Number three is from the track team, where junior Brendan Watkins did the triple jump. He jumped 45 feet 10 and a half inches, breaking the previous record of 45 feet 7 inches. Your number two comes from the softball team. Shortstop Katie Kikowski made an outstanding diving catch in short right field. And last, number one. This play is also from the softball team. Senior Reagan Hathaway absolutely crushes the ball to right field for the home run. Hathaway hit four home runs that game alone. That's it for this week's top plays. Great job, athletes, and stay tuned for more plays. I'm here with Taylor Weens, a freshman who has been making a big impact on the soccer team this year. So Taylor, this has been one of the best starts in O&W history 
for soccer and what can you attribute to the team? Um, I think it's because our team chemistry is a lot better than it has been in the past and we're all really close this year too and love each other. Um, and what is it like to be the one of the youngest players on the team? Um, it was hard at first because I wasn't sure how everyone was going to like welcome us, but all the seniors and upperclassmen have been really nice and welcoming. And what are the team's goals for the rest of the season? Um, the rest of the season we want to go undefeated and win the Sunflower League and then go into postseason winning the state. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Taylor. Well, that's all we have for you today, Ravens. This has been Luis Ruiz. Now back to the desk. Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's Question of the Week debate. We brought in our film critic Solomon Shields and Logan Contino. We're going to debate some movies coming out this year. Logan, what movie will bring in the most box office? The movie that's bringing in the most box office this year is hands down Star Wars. Um, they got the fan base, the conventions are crazy, and it's probably going to be a pretty good movie. No. I'm sorry, I sort of respect you, Logan, but I'm going to have to disagree. It's definitely going to be the Avengers. I mean, if you look at what they've done in the past with the last movie, and they're even introducing new characters with Iron Man and his new armor and vision, and they're sticking so close to the comics that for a true comic fan readers, then it's just going to be great, and they're just going to outdo themselves. All right. Uh, Logan, what movie are you most excited to see? Um, I'm probably going to be most excited to see James Bond. Um, just because Bond movies are exciting. No, I'm going to be excited to see Ant-Man. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, Ant-Man, what is this guy talking about? But actually, you know, we got native Paul Rudd, he's going to be in it, and uh, he's really good at acting. He's actually very funny. And they're going to kind of put some humor into this, kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy. It's going to have sort of that feel, so I'm excited to, you know, everybody likes to laugh and be in it. Yeah, we can agree that Guardians of the Galaxy was a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in, Ravens. Remember to tweet your answers to next week's question. Now, back to the desk. That's all we have for you on today's edition of ONW Now. For Sean McPartland, this has been Savannah Plumley. Have a great weekend.